When we talk about menopause, it's actually one day on the calendar, and it's the one day that marks 12 months of no periods. The day after that is postmenopause, and the time before that is perimenopause. Perimenopause is the most interesting, I guess, time point of differentiation between how a man ages and how a woman ages, because we see a lot of the aging and longevity literature is based on this linear trajectory of age. But when we're looking at perimenopause, women age very differently during this time period because it depends on how the ratios of estrogen and progesterone start to shift. Because when we're in our reproductive years, we have primarily a regular cycle every 28 to 40 days. And you have times when estrogen, progesterone are low, and then you have ovulation, estrogen, progesterone come up. You don't get pregnant, you shed the lining, and so you have this cyclical pattern. And your body's really used to a certain amount of progesterone and estrogen. When we get into perimenopause, we start to have more and more anovulatory cycles. So if we're not ovulating, we don't produce progesterone. We're still producing estrogen. But because we don't have progesterone, the ratios of those two hormones are shifting. And these hormones are more than just reproductive hormones. They affect every system of the body. 